Now, it seems like Erica Mena and Safari Samuels cannot get enough of each other. These two been going back and forth for since they've been divorced. Like, I just don't get it. They married in October of 2019. They were already fully divorced by October 2022. And now Safari is finding himself back in court because he is now filing additional actions against Erica Mena. And let's jump into what he is seeking in his new court file. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Huh? Yes. I can say this, Safari and Erica made a very beautiful couple, but I am sure I am not the only one that knew that this relationship would not last. Not even because Erica has a piss poor attitude, but Safari just seemed like he was a little bit immature to be a husband and then a father of not one, but two whole kids. Now, I will never forget that scene on Love and Hip Hop when Erica Mena lied and cried as if she was getting absolutely nothing in child support. Now, when I say nothing, she said she wasn't getting anything. And of course, us bloggers did our homework and we were able to find and obtain the documents. And Erica was awarded $4,300 and about $5 in child support. But I think she considered that as nothing because she cried and said, you know, I'm getting nothing. I have to take care of my children all by myself and I'm getting nothing for child support, which was in fact a Officially lie. primary custodian of the kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about the child support? That's it? Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? Not all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What? That's not fair. When a man shows... Well, it seemed like Erica was extremely happy when she learned, you know, her divorce had went through. But honey, when she found out that she was only getting that $4,000 a month for child support, it wasn't enough. So now these two are back in the news because Safari has now filed a lawsuit. And we're going to get into what he's claiming in the lawsuit. Now, since then, we have saw Erica Mena come out with this reality show that she has on um, the Cuckoo Network is what I call it. The, the straight Cuckoo Network where they be over there fighting and all of that. And then one of the contestants came out and said, Erica assaulted him. So it just seems like Erica's life is just always crazy because even outside of Safari, she is still getting it. We don't even want to talk about her calling Spice the Blue Monkey. Since then, it seems like Erica has still been on social media acting a fool. There was a situation with her and Ray J where she got on live and she was letting loose on him. So it's just like Erica Mena seems like a very, very, very hot head. Um, but now we're at this situation with her and her ex-husband and he is taking her back to court, y'all. And he got some very ex extensive claims. Um, and we're going to get into that. Well, it seemed like Eric. So what Safari wants, he wants the court to reduce his monthly child support payments to his ex-wife, Erica Mena, because he claims that um, he does not currently make the amount of money that he was making then. And he also states that due to Erica Mena going on social media and telling her followers, which I believe she has about over 6 million followers, that he was a deadbeat, it has 
put a halt to his income and he just is not making that money that he used to make. So in a court motion he filed, he is seeking to lower his child support payments. He's saying in 2022, when their divorce was finalized, the money that he was making then was about $61,157 per month. And Erica was therefore making about $41,289 per month. And this is actually in the court documents. He's saying there has been a serious change in his income and he can no longer keep up with those payments. He's saying at the time of his divorce, he was a main talent on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. He's saying yet he is no longer a full-time talent on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. He also states, further at the time of his divorce, he was booking appearances and generating an income from such appearances. He states he is no longer able to accept the same level of bookings um, to date. Um, his motion went on to blame Erica for his inability to make the revenue that he had made previous because he said um, Erica for nearly six consecutive months had made public posts on her social media platform to her over 6 million followers. And she referred to Safari as a deadbeat and she was attacking his parenting skills without any reason. He says, additionally, Erica has created confusion regarding Safari's efforts to secure new employment by harassing Safari's potential co-stars and co-workers via multiple phone calls to the potential co-workers and production. And she is disparaging Safari with false claims. So Safari is saying this lady is calling his job and his co-workers how crazy is that? He should probably sue her instead of trying to reduce his child support payments, right? Safari argued that considering that his fan base is mostly women, many have stopped supporting him in light of what Erica Mena has stated, and she continues to attack his character. Woo, y'all. So Erica... Oh, well, let me point this out. Now, in addition to asking the court to reduce his payments, he is also asking for Miss Erica, Erica, Erica to pay his legal expenses. And of course, Erica definitely responded because did y'all think that she was not going to respond? So let's get into Erica, Erica's response. So she posted a calendar and it says 2020, I'm sorry, 2024. Now she's showing a calendar. It, hopefully you guys can see the yellow she's saying are the times that she had her kids. And it looks like the red is the times that he had the kids. I, frankly, I think that this is kind of childish because it is what it is. If those were the only days he get got the kids, girl, oh well. I mean, this is given very much, both of y'all need to grow up. So this is what she said. She said, Erica, okay. She said, mom is yellow, dad is orange. I'm sorry, that's orange. Imagine trying to detect child support from your baby mom. I don't know what detect mean, but imagine trying to detect. Maybe she means, I don't know what she means. She, she put detect child support from your baby mom when that's they get from you. That doesn't make sense. When that's they get from you since he skips out on birthdays and Christmas by choice and you only seen your kids 16 times this whole year so far, shaking my head, but yet you act like you this big money man for the gram, and all you have to do is pick your kids up at school. You don't never have to make contact with me, shaking my head. I swear when I say these are my kids, I say it with my chest for a million reasons. So she has obviously a bunch of 
you know, typos and, you know, sometimes when people are angry and they are writing stuff, this happens. But what she's saying is, you know, he doesn't get the kids is pretty much what she's saying. She's saying, imagine you trying to take money from me and you just don't get your kids. Um, this is what I've learned. This happens in a lot of relationships. This is just, this happens. I feel like, and I'm definitely not taking up for Safari because I think he's immature. He just seems very immature. But I think Erica's um, spirit is so toxic that nobody wants to be around her. Imagine being a man and having to deal with a, a female like that because you don't know if she gonna try to attack you. Obviously, he's a man. If he even, you know, protect himself, she gonna say he did something to her. So I don't know how toxic that relationship is, but she seems so bitter and so angry that she seemed like she would just push a good person that's really trying to just be there for their children. It seems like she would just push them away because even if he was terrible to her, I feel like her going online, make, calling him a deadbeat, you are attacking his character and that is your children's father. Now, if you want to attack his character, I guess call him on the phone, maybe text him, but I don't think putting that online and going overboard, you know, what, how she handled it, I don't think that was good because that's going to be there for her kids to be able to see. So I think, you know, you know, she, she, wants to you know point the finger at him i think she should also point the finger at herself but it's sad that they're still going through this and their kids are very much small so they have a long a very long way to go so i really hope they get this figured out